Good morning. I was walking yesterday in the woods. I just want to share a brief story with you and then you can be on your way for the week. <laughs> I was walking yesterday in the woods and I started noticing all these briars that had grown up literally overnight. I mean, they were not there one minute and there the next minute. And I'm, I was looking at them and seeing all these thorns and um, right at the top of this particular briar, um, there was a flower that was starting to bloom. And it reminded me of a couple weeks ago, if you didn't see it, I talked about poop, precious offerings from our past. P-O-O-P, -O -O -P. it's an acronym. And If you haven't met Birdie yet, say hello, Birdie. Hello. My kitty, Birdie. Um, precious offerings from our past. And then I realized, so in these precious offerings from our past, poop grows up a flower. And then I realized, hold on a minute. Sometimes the flower does not look like we want the flower to look. Sometimes it looks like thorns. Roses have thorns. Raspberry bushes have thorns. I have a cactus, literally bloomed yesterday. I'm like, okay, how many more examples of this can I get in one day? Must be important. It must be important. So, roses have thorns, fruit, has thorns um, you know I started thinking about it I started looking into it <laughs> and I remembered this song that we used to sing in church I'm pressed but not crushed persecuted not abandoned struck down but not destroyed and lo and behold that is right inside of my favorite passage of Scripture Say goodbye, Birdie. In 2 second, in Corinthians, chapter 4, my favorite passage of scripture is jars of clay. Jars of clay. We have this treasure in jars of clay. Well, how do we get this treasure in jars of clay? And what does a jar of clay look like? Sometimes when it's growing up, it has thorns. Sometimes we are pressed, but not crushed. Sometimes we are persecuted, not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. And listen to the end of that chapter in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Outwardly, all these thorns, but inside there is a rose waiting to bloom, blooming as we speak inside our light and momentary troubles this is verse 17 of 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 for our light and momentary troubles all those thorns all those briars are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all and I know I paraphrase that all the time but this is really right now guys this is really in this moment what you see is not what you get what you see is not what you get a couple of weeks ago I was telling you about poop what you see is not what you get that poop is fertilizer for the flower and even sometimes the flower looks like well I wasted all this all I'm seeing are thorns and briars. All I'm seeing are uh, pinchies and if you're from Pittsburgh, jaggers. I'm seeing jaggers. Next thing you know, here comes that flower. Fix your eyes not on what you can see, but what is unseen because what you can see is temporary. What is unseen is eternal. What you can see, what you are walking through, has a beginning, 
a middle, and an end. And I promise you that Jesus is not the light at the end of the tunnel. Jesus is the light. He is in the beginning of the tunnel. He is in the tunnel and he is at the end of the tunnel. Our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us a glory, the rose that blooms after the thorns, the raspberries that come after the jaggers, the flower that blooms on the cactus. And yeah, when I went for that walk yesterday, that weed, that thistle, whose seeds feed beautiful birds, that thistle grows up a flower right in the middle, right in the middle, our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us this glory that outweighs them all. So fix your eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. The treasure that's in the jar of clay, it's hidden in the jar of clay. And the jar of clay ain't pretty, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes it's cracked. Sometimes it's leaky. Sometimes thorns and thistles. Every rose has its thorn. Some days a diamond, some days a stone. Initially when I saw that weed growing up, I thought of like <laughs> all the 80s and 90s <laughs> renditions of um, songs that applied. And a couple of my girlfriends, you'll get me on that because you do the same thing. <sighs> Fix your eyes. Now I have cat fur in my whimsy stick. <laughs> Fix your eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Because what is seen is only temporary. What is unseen is eternal. And so I say over us as we start this week, this morning I say over us, <laughs> rejoice for your redemption draws near. Your redemption draws near. All the good is coming. God works it all for good. All the good is coming. If it ain't good, it ain't finished. To quote my friend, Chris Vallotton. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know. And even when it looks like thorns, there is a rose coming. Even though it looks like jaggers, there is a raspberry that's about to that's about to be the yummiest, fruitiest thing you have ever tasted in your life. So you guys, today, remember, don't look at what you see, remember what you know. And what you know might be unseen, but what is unseen is eternal. Have an amazing day.